Okay, currently we do have the image being built via Maven, but there's some things that we can do to make our life a little more easy as far as uh, managing a project. And right now, if we take a look at the uh, Docker file, we are utilizing the name of the artifact. So if we do a release, we change that uh, version, what's gonna have, have to happen is we are gonna have to go in and update this. So if we did uh, a release to uh, 01 or 02, uh, we'd have to go in and edit this file manually and not uh, something that we actually want to do. So what we can do is we can utilize Maven properties to control this. And rather than having the string here, we can uh, have it replaced with a Maven property at runtime. So I come in here like so, and I do dollar sign squiggly like that. Now I can say project dot build dot final name. And this is a, a Maven property that's available at runtime. This is the name of the jar. So when we run this, if we change the version, that is going to get changed. So I can just take that and copy him right to here, like so. So that takes care of our, our build file. So there's a couple other things that we can uh, utilize this with uh, also. So let's come back to our Maven configuration here in the palm. And... One thing that we're doing here is we're setting it up as KB REST and a different convention that I like to use. So remember the uh, image coordinates if we're pushing up to Docker Hub are gonna be our name. So in my case, I have a Docker Hub account called Spring Framework Guru. And then I wanna give it a name. And the, the name I, I like to use here is from the project itself, the artifact ID. So the artifact ID, which is gonna be the KB REST brewery, that will all make it appended. So if I ever have to change the name here, that would change. I do like to have my repository reflecting that artifact ID name. Uh, now my Docker image as well will reflect that. Then one additional thing that we can do here is we are tagging it. And let's say we're going through a release process or something like that. It'd be nice to have that version as well. So if I were to do a release to uh, 01 or 02, uh, we'd like to have a, a image with that. So what we can do here is, again, using a Maven property, we'll do project, and here we're just going to say project version, and that will pick up the version property. So now when this runs, we will get not only tag to latest, but we'll also get the tag of version. And I don't have to rebuild everything, but I can come in here and run the build step and demonstrate this. So I'm just going to come in and do Docker build. And we'll... Go ahead and expand this window out a little bit. So we can see that the, the build did go through successfully and everything worked properly. You can see here, uh, this line here, the property was uh, properly applied at runtime. So that got replaced at runtime. So rather than having that property string. It did in fact uh, work properly the, the way we expect it to. So now if I change versions and doing a release or something like that, that will automatically happen. And then here we can see also in the log output that we have the tag of latest and also the 001-snapshot. So now we have that image with uh, both tag of latest and snapshot. If I were to do a release, the tagged images will still be up in Docker Hub. The latest would get replaced. And then the 02 would be there, but 01 would still also be there. So this is a really handy way to version your images as you are doing releases with your Java projects. So let me minimize this and just recap exactly what I changed here. So I came into the Docker file, and for the file name, I'm now using a Maven property. So that will be picked up uh, as the file name changes. When we uh, change the versioning information, the file name will change. And now this will uh, work properly at runtime when we're building our project. And then also in the POM, I changed the name of it. So I'm now adding in my Docker Hub directory, as well as the, I'm utilizing the artifact ID for the name. And then uh, in our build, we are also tagging it with the current version of the build.